Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by today. I figured I'd go ahead and hit this record button because I saw something that was pretty interesting. Now, I follow the Frog UK Transparency. Um, it's an awesome channel, awesome guy. I wish to have him on my channel one day. That would be amazing. Um, but he's been posting some videos. It's coming from Chile, basically. It's coming from his live streams. Now, we know how Chile likes to do fundraisers. His charity events that money's not totally going to him it's going to him guys it's going to him it's going to him he's getting the money let's just say if he gives somebody money it's probably going to be like maybe a fraction of what he made now this case goes to a group of people i think they're called the dollar hides uh there's a man and a woman that uh have track record uh, of dealing with, uh, I don't know, the justice system, where I think they was frauditors, maybe, maybe frauditors. They don't know how to stay out of jail. But I was taking a look, um, and this was on the Frogs channel, uh, of this Jason Randall dollar. Now, if you take a look at this, uh, this guy gets on, he gets on Chili's channel begging for money, uh, begging for money to get him out of jail. Uh, apparently, he's already sent $600 to this guy's wife. And he, there's no real proof of it. It's just Chili bringing his phone up, probably using like a notepad or a calculator and showing, hey, I gave you guys money. Because I can probably show you, if I was to send money, I can show you what that looks like. And it doesn't look like that most of the time. Chili keeps a lot of this money. Uh, I don't know if this is a part of the plan where Chili talks to these people and they're like, oh, you don't tell them that you're giving me X amount of money. Don't say this. Don't say that. I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to get you all kinds of money. Uh, this guy probably owes thousands of dollars. Thousands. I don't know what the total number is, but looking at uh, this, it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too good. He's got all these violations here. He's got a protective order violation. Uh, let's see what else here. He's got assault and battery. Uh, battery of dangerous weapon, assault and battery on a police officer, assault and battery, uh, against, again, against a police officer, which you don't do that, right? And Chile encourages this stuff. He encourages you to be violent towards police officers. And Chile also thinks that it's okay for you to beat your wife and your child. You know, that good old fashioned domestic violence that he's all about. You know, if you do some domestic violence, you shouldn't go to jail. But it's okay. Give your wife a black eye. That's all cool. Can't go to jail for that because that is inhumane, in my opinion. But he's for that. He's okay with that. He's okay for a cop to get killed. It's okay with that. As long as the guy, the perpetrator, doesn't go to jail. And he basically says that nobody deserves to go to jail. Now, if you watch the actual phone call, there's actually two videos. And they're both on Frog's channel. Uh, the wife is on one of them. And she's talking about how she needs this money. Uh, they, I think they got like $600. And uh, nobody deserves to be put in prison or jail, which they do. Which they do. There's something called crimes, and you got to pay for those crimes. You have to. You just got to do it. Unless you're some kind of fucking elite that gets away with it. But I, I'm not getting into that. But... I was watching the video today as one of them that uh, the frog posted. And it was a phone call between Chili and uh, Jason Dollarhide. Basically how it went, he was saying, I need this money. I think he ultimately said he needed $2,500. Now, this amount changed several times during the phone call. Several times. Um, he never explained that he did anything wrong, and he did. So he just listened. Just listened. I don't think the police made it up, uh, and like Chili will say, oh, they made that up because they want him to go to the dungeon. Chili, go fuck yourself, you stupid bastard. Oh my god, you're stupid. This dumb beta cuck bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, I went on a tangent there. But anyways, the guy's begging for money, and near the end of it, um, he brings in his daughter. Now, his daughter, from the looks of it, if you go on Chili's YouTube channel, unless he took it down, there's supposed to be a fundraising event to try to get him out of jail, right? And on the picture, you see the man, the woman, and the baby. Uh, I guess she's maybe two years old at most, I would say. 
saying her birthday's coming up and daddy needs to get out of jail because all this, all that, and all this, all that. One thing, one thing I think that, you know, with their rap sheet, how big it is, these people shouldn't be allowed to have a child. Uh, if they can't stay out of jail, if they can't stay off drugs or whatever they're on, if they can't stop assaulting people, or if there are domestic violence in this, um, these people shouldn't have the kid. That's just my opinion. It makes you unfit to raise a child when you're constantly in jail. Now you're begging for money to get you out because you broke the fucking law? That's stupid. That's fucking dumb. And I feel so bad for the people giving these people money. Why? Why? You're enabling this behavior. You're enabling it. You're rewarding it. And it's, it's crazy. Now I know, I know, you don't like the police. You don't like the justice system. I don't care. I don't care. If I committed a crime, but I know I committed, and I have to go to jail, guess what? I'm facing the music. I'm not going to get on YouTube and beg for money. Chili does this all the time. He's cool with it. Let's get these people out of the jail. Doesn't matter if they're a rapist, they're a, I don't know, they gave some fentanyl to somebody and killed him, or they beat their fucking wife and child. It's okay. You don't need to go to the jail. That's bad. The dungeon's terrible. Don't put you in torture cuffs. Just beat your wife. That's fine. All good. Fight a cop. Shoot a cop. That's fine. You don't need to go to jail. It's the dungeon. It's the worst place. The cops are playing tricks on you. This guy is using a fear tactic as well as paying, like playing for your emotions to get money for this person. You shouldn't be paying it. Why would you do that? I understand you want to help people. I want to help people. I want to help orphans. I want to help cancer patients. I want to help people what's in you know, suicide hotline people. I want to help people. And I would gladly give my money to it. But I'm not going to get on here and give money to a criminal. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Saying that people don't deserve in jail. Well, I think pedophiles deserve to be in prison, obviously. I think rapists deserve to be in prison. I think people that shoot cops and shoot other people need to be in prison. I think all these people need to go to prison. Honestly. I don't think these people should have a child. That's just my opinion. You might think that's harsh, but it's true. It's true. That child would be better off in the long run not having to deal with this family. There's a family out there that would take care of this child. Not these people. These people don't care. They don't care. They just want money for nothing. They want to be able to commit their crimes. And we just give money to it. And Chile encourages it. He encourages that. Which is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. And a lot of these frauders do that. I don't understand. Here, real quick. Who in here and is watching this video thinks it's okay to beat your wife or beat your husband, beat your child? Domestic violence. You'd want that person to go to jail, right? You don't want to see some woman getting blacked up, beat the shit up, have black eyes. You don't want to see that. Somebody said in my actual chat, they said, Mrs. Smith had black eyes. Did you give her shiners? No. 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 Yeah, I want to tell you, like, I seen that shit when I was young. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. When somebody points a gun at your mom, does terrible things to your mom? Think that's okay? You think that's okay? Your next door neighbor beating their child, sitting around doing drugs while their child's not able to eat, just playing, finding needles. You think that's okay? You think that's okay? Now I'm not. I'm, I'm casting a lot of uh, hooks here uh, at the Dollar Heights. I don't know them, but I do see that they have problems with authority. And it's not okay. It's not okay. It should never be okay. Again, 
you can be afraid of the cops. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think you should be. There are some cases where, yeah, maybe it's a good idea because there are problems with the justice system. But I don't think it's all cops. These people play with your emotions. They want you to feel sorry for them. They want you to enable their behavior. Pay for it. This guy, Chili, takes the money and runs with it. A fucking glorified hobo from California that thinks he's a fucking lawyer. And he's not. The guy, same guy that's losing every single lawsuit that he's in. None successful. Same guy that's paying for all these subscribers. Prove that. Prove that. If you think I'm lying, if I'm lying, Chili, fucking prove it. Because you know I'm not. You know I'm not lying. You are paying for subscribers, buddy. Well, not buddy. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You're a fucking moron. I think if you guys get a chance, go on the Frog UK Transparency. Check out those phone calls. Um, they'll blow your mind. Blow your mind. Like, I guess, like, he was even used, the Jason guy, from what I got to hear from it, was even saying his wife was freaking out, uh, having panic attacks. And, you know, it's probably possible. Probably possible. It's it's a sucky situation, but apparently she has some problems too in terms of probably going to jail. I say both of these people are going to end up in jail with some bonds. They're probably going to lose their child. Guys, if you're watching this from Chili Channel, don't fucking fall for it. You're better than that. Holy God. Like, the last video I posted about Chili, you guys know it, it had quite a good effect. You don't need to fall for these things. Here, would you pay for a rapist to get out of prison? Would you pay for a pedophile to get out of prison? Would you pay for somebody that holds a gun to their wife's head and punches her in the face? Would you pay for him to stay out of prison? I hope not. I hope not. I don't understand the frauditors and their, you know, trying to say that domestic violence isn't a bad thing. That people shouldn't get punished. That's fucking terrible. That's terrible. You shouldn't be giving money to these people, man. Like, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Honestly, there needs to be a lawsuit on this guy. Chili does need to be sued. Maybe somebody will. Maybe somebody will sue him. Now, he is selling his trifold. That could be a class action lawsuit right there. How many people bought this trifold? Never worked. Kanji out of $25 for, what, what is it, indestructible paper? That's destructible. That's a lawsuit right there. False pre <laughs> false, false advertisement. Gunner TV proved that. Ripped it right up. It's not an indestructible paper. Class action lawsuit probably wouldn't stand very much because there's really not much Chili can give in terms of money. This guy's a fucking hobo. He's poor shit. I don't understand, like, these people, like, these frauditors, these criminals that don't contribute to society. Now, you know, I was unemployed for a while. I felt awful. felt terrible. During the COVID thing, you know, I lost my job. They shut down everything. You know, I still did the unemployment thing, and I was getting paid more on unemployment than was at a regular job. That was cool. That was fun. But now we're paying for it. Fucking contribute. Do something productive. Do something that helps people. This is not helping people. This is enabling bad behavior. It's fucking bad, dude. Really bad. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Check out the Frog UK Transparency, <laughs> Transparency Channel. I can't talk. Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments. you think this should be allowed? You think people should be uh, being incentivized to commit crimes or fight cops, punch their wives in the face? Do you? You think that's okay? And if so, let me know in the comments. I mean, it's it's open discussion here. Open discussion. You think domestic violence cases? You think these people should be thrown in jail? I'm sure there's people in the audience that's watch, watching this right now that's seen this happen. 
They know. They lived it. I lived it. It's not great. It's not great. And people shouldn't stand up for it. I don't care if you're a freedom fighter. That's another thing. These fraudsters say they're freedom fighters. Next thing, they're going to be asking for discounts, saying, oh, I'm fighting for freedom, while actual soldiers are out there risking their lives to protect your freedom to be a fucking jackass. They like to say cops' jobs aren't dangerous. Okay, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Why aren't you there at the school shootings? Why don't you? Now, I, I, there has been some mishaps when it comes to that stuff. Don't get me wrong. There's problems. There are problems. Don't get me wrong. There's problems. And I'm willing to admit that. I could stand on a hill and say, yeah, there's, there's problems, dude. Some problems. But not all of it. You don't see these people say they're fighting for your freedoms. You don't see them helping out. Once the uh, uh, heat goes on, they're running away most of the time. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Sorry it was a mess, but I'm going to include a couple links in the description below. Uh, feel free, if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.